me and welcome to this tutorial on the open source application called Rectangle, which is a very nice addition to the window manager in OS X. So let's open a browser and go to rectangleapp.com, press download. Double click that disk image like so. So we'll just drag the rectangle up into the applications folder. Get rid of this. Do a quick spotlight search for rectangle and open it. Press open. This next step is important in order for the application to work, so we'll press Open System Preferences. We'll be directed into the Security and Privacy section and the subsection called Accessibility. If we scroll down, we can see that Rectangle is not checked. So press the padlock, type your administrator password. Check rectangle. In this next dialog box, we'll just press recommend it. We'll close this. And this is just a preview of the keyboard shortcuts. Let's close that for now. And at the top of the screen, you can see that now that there is a rectangle icon. You can see that you can choose none of the functions here, and that's because we have no windows open. So if I open four new random windows, like so, I could quickly arrange them like so. So you see they are all in four corners completely adjacent to each other. I could also choose one window like so and do this, choose another one and do this. And this is a feature that I really feel is missing in OS X because then this way you can you know, compare data in one window to another or have different types of applications open like say if I was opening a browser like this I could just place that here and still have full access to this window over here and so on. So all the shortcuts for that are explained here. And you can, of course, define your own shortcuts. What you can also do is that you can drag the windows into these positions. So let's say I have some scattered windows like this. I could simply take one and drag it to the top right corner of the screen like so bottom left corner of the screen like so, and so on, and place them like this. Another useful function in here, if we go further down, is the maximize function. Because normally if you were to press the green button is in OS X, like so, you get a maximized window, but it will also be full screen, and that's not always something you want. So if I press escape, no, rather like so, you press the keyboard shortcut, control option, enter. You see that the window is maximized, but it's not in full screen, so that can be very handy as well. So there's a final feature that I want to go over in this application and that's the enable to do mode. Just to make sure that that's actually shown in this menu, you can go to preferences and go to this cog and you can make sure that the it's a check by show to do mode in menu like so. So we close that Let's say we want to have a text document or 
text edit application like so. And we want to have that as a, a common denominator between different apps or windows. If you go in here, and you can say enable to do mode, like so. It will place itself on the right side of the screen. And all your other applications or windows, let's say this is Safari. In here, you have the different finder windows, they're all adjacent to this window. So they can be handy if you try to move your things and you're describing something in this document and you're switching between other windows, files, folders, applications, and so on. So, but if you open a new application in this process, so I'll just open this. You can see that that overlaps our original to-do application. So there is another function in here called reflow to-do, which has a neat little shortcut, control option N. So that means if I press control option N, this, the nearest applications that I've opened, they place themselves adjacent to this window. So that's very nice. Thank you.